All right, what's up, bitches? Uh, today we are going to make uh, a very quick video on how to fix USB mass storage on uh, a Galaxy S2. I have a Galaxy S2. Um, it might work on other Jelly Bean devices. Uh, this is a uh, Galaxy S2 and um, 4.1.2 uh, Jelly Bean. Um, like I said, it could work on other devices. I'm not sure. This is the only one I vouch for that it definitely works. Anyway. Um, the problem, the problem is, on Jelly Bean, uh, when you plug in USB, what happens is, it says connected as a media device, okay, that's already a problem, we don't want to see that, we want to see, uh, connected as USB, so you go down, you see connected as a media device, you click on it, and you get these annoying options, it's like, no, we don't freaking want that, we want USB mass storage. So, uh, I have a solution for you, and it's an actually a real solution. It's not an app that helps enable USB storage, because I've seen those, and I've tried them, and they actually work. Um, and I'm not going to be one of these arrogant douchebags who, uh, who probably who might mean well, but they, they tell you, oh, just go into USB utilities and, and enable it in USB utilities. No, yeah, if we had USB utilities in the freaking phone, we would have done that already, but we don't. So that's why we need another solution. And we want a permanent solution, not a freaking app. I want to be able to just plug this fucker in and enable and turn on USB storage like I used to. And that's what we're going to do. I know you guys are skeptical, but trust me, it's going to work. Anyway, what you're going to do first, let me unplug this. Uh, what you're going to do first is you're going to download a program called Terminal Emulator. And by the way, did I mention you have to be rooted? And I'm sorry, a lot of you just got pissed off. And uh, it, for those of you who are not rooted, there might be apps that work for unrooted devices to re-enable, uh, you know, in some kind of fix for USB storage. But for those who are rooted, you download a program called Terminal Emulator. Let me just punch that up real quick uh, so you can see what the hell I'm talking about. Um, let's see. Terminal Emulator. And there we go. All right, so there's the one right at the top there. Android Terminal Emulator, Jack Pelovax, whatever. Uh, installed. Okay, it's installed on mine. Uh, what you're going to do is you're going to download that. You're going to go into Terminal Emulator on your Android device. And you'll see something that looks like uh, this. Boom. Uh, okay. Just like that. The first thing you're going to do is you're going to type in, uh, first of all, before you do type in anything, you're going to make a backup of your friggin' uh, phone. Uh, so you're going to go into your Clockwork, Clockwork Mod or Team Win or whatever recovery you have, and you're going to back up the, uh, the phone so that in, uh, in the event that you're an idiot and brick your phone somehow, you will be able to, um, to recover it, and you won't be yelling at me. And I don't want you yelling at me anyway, even if you brick your phone. I, you have to understand, before you take any of my advice, I barely know what the fuck I'm doing, okay? Barely. Barely know anything about this shit. These people that, that, that put these other videos up, they know what they're doing. I barely know what I'm doing. But I know that this works doing it exactly the way that I'm telling you to do it, okay? Um, anyway, you got this up like this, you're going to type in SU. What that does is that grants you super user, see that? Super user permissions. Uh, which allows the um, this program to fuck with your phone, basically, is what it does. Okay, so you're going to type in set prop. You're going to type in set prop space persist dot sys dot usb dot config c o n f i g space m a s s underscore storage comma ADB okay it'll um, the rest of its off the screen but that's how the end should look there dot USB dot config space mass storage comma ADB hit enter and you'll get that right there it'll bring it to the next line and you're going to type in reboot boom phone is going to reboot 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 I look Better blurry. I am just noticing that. Let me see. 
I, I, I look more attractive the blurrier it gets. I'm gonna do all my videos like this from now on. It, it, that might actually... Even my hair doesn't look all fucked up now. Well, it still kind of does. God, my hair's fucked up. All right, anyway, back back to reality. God, that's fucking scary. If anybody's face shouldn't be in HD, it's mine. Okay, waiting for this to, to load back up. This used to be a, um, a Sprint 4G phone. I flashed it to... Uh, I'm sorry, I didn't flash it myself. I was lazy. And I paid some schmuck forty dollars. I'm sorry, I shouldn't call him a schmuck. Some guy, uh, actually, it was a company, I think, forty dollars to flash it, mostly because I needed him to do the uh, 3G anyway, and he was going to charge me twenty five bucks for the 3G. So I figured I'd give him forty bucks and have him do everything. And it worked like a charm, by the way. Uh, remote access, and he uh, he hooked it up pretty quick. Okay, let's see. Um, all right, so now we got our uh, our our phone back. There we go, and let me just focus that, so, there we go, so we can see. All right, now we're going to try, this is the moment of truth. We're going to plug this motherfucker in, and see what happens. I see already, we have something different, USB connected. Okay, it doesn't say media device or any bullshit like that. Um, let me just back that up a little bit. So I'm going to drag that down, and you see again. USB connected, touch to copy your files, boom, let's do that, and look what we got here, back to normal, just like the way we used to have it, turn on USB storage, if you turn on USB storage, some apps you're using, yeah, fuck you, yeah, click OK, and boom, there we go, USB storage in use, so, um, that's pretty much it. All right, we're done. We're done here. I just fixed your freaking problem. Uh, let me just uh, turn off USB storage and unplug this bad boy. Okay. To, uh, to all this information will be in the um, the description, by the way. Exactly what you have to type in. And uh, the other thing is, if you want to reverse this process, you're going to do everything exactly the same way that I told you to. Um, Su then return, then set prop dot, I'm sorry, set prop space persist dot sys dot usb dot config space, uh, and, but instead of mass storage, you're going to type in mtp comma adb. So after config, it would be config space mtp comma adb, then hit return, then type in reboot, hit return, and you're back to, to where you were before with, um, you know, mtp and media connection and whatnot, and no USB. So, I hope you guys uh, enjoyed the video. Um, if you're wondering why, uh, if, if, any, if any of you are wondering, I don't have, I think I have like 10 subscribers. If any of you are wondering uh, why I don't have the HTC One V anymore, it's because I jumped into a pool with it. Yep. I'm an asshole. I tried the rice method. I tried uh, so, uh, submerging it in alcohol, which seems like it would be a good idea. That didn't work either. Um, and the reason why those things didn't work is because the HTC One V has a battery built into it that you can't remove. And one of the most important things to remember when you drop your phone into some kind of liquid or jump into a pool with it because you're an asshole is uh, that you need to take it apart and take the battery out as soon as possible and then try to dry it out with the, maybe the rice method works for some people. Apparently it does. Um, but no, the HTC One V uh, doesn't have that. So I'm kind of happy to get rid of that phone. I don't know. I just it, it was pissing me off anyway. Uh, but yeah, I'm happy with this. It's a Galaxy Samsung S2, and I got it for 125 bucks off of uh, a guy on Craigslist. So uh, I'm happy with it. Anyway, I um, uh, hope you enjoyed the video. Hope it helped you. If you have any questions, put them in the comment section. I probably won't be able to answer them because I honestly know hardly anything about this shit. I mean, almost nothing. So. Anyway, thanks for watching. You guys take care.